Thank you for staying with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your correlation matrix table to Excel and MS Word. On the screen, I have my group data already. I double click on that. So these are the variables. I go to view. I maneuver to covariance analysis. I click it. Then in the covariance analysis dialog box, I have all these options to choose from. I only want to do a correlation analysis. I'm going to uncheck the covariance box. So I only have correlation. Then I need to know the probability values of the correlated relationship. I check this box too. So every other thing I leave untouched. My sample size is as shown. I click OK. So here on the screen, you can see the correlation matrix. It's really simple exporting to Excel because um, the eViews interface is actually user friendly and also Excel friendly. So all I have to do, I copy all this, Control C. This copy options comes up, format as text. I click OK. I click on this first cell at this corner. I go to paste, paste special. Then I click on Unicode text. OK. So there on the screen is my correlation matrix. And because Excel and eViews are so user friendly, eViews takes all the figures and puts them in their respective cells, as you can see. And from the way I've pasted it, it doesn't really look good. So I need to do some formatting to make it more presentable. So what will I do? First thing, let me maintain this so that you can look at the differences after I'm done. I move this down here. I'm going to format the one I brought from eViews. First thing, I'm going to remove everything here. I don't need them. The next thing is correlation. I put matrix in front. And because it's the heading, I'm going to merge and center it using this button. I click it. I put it at the corner. I bold in it. Then I come here. I increase the size to 15. After that, I change probability here to variables. I expand this. Then I can see so many empty cells that I don't need. So I need to take them out. So I select all of them and I delete. So you can see I have neatly taken out all those empty cells. Next thing for me to do is to take out all those blank cells. Now it's looking better. Under the heading, I can put a thick border. So I come here. Then here too, for the variables heading, I bold in it and I use a light bottom border. This one. Also beneath here, I put a light bottom border. Here, I put a right border. You can see it's looking so much better than the way I brought it. The next thing for me to do is to at least identify these variables below the table. So I'll only show you what I'm going to do for the real GDP. So I put a note here, note. RGDP. I put a colon and I simply type real GDP. I put a semicolon and for EDS, a colon and I write external debt service. So I do the same thing for all the variables in the matrix. So lastly, I put source. Since I generated it, I simply write author or researcher as the case may be. So you can see it's a lot better than the way I brought it initially from AViews. And don't forget that the numbers below the correlation of figures are the respective probability values. So this is how you move your table from eViews to Excel. Now compare this with what we had initially. Look at it below. You can see this is not good at all for you to present either in your thesis or in a manuscript. It's not good at all. Presentation matters. Even though the contents are the same, presentation is very important. So I'll always advise you, present your correlation matrix in a very good way.
So next I'm going to show you how to copy this to MS Word. All I have to do again is to highlight all, Ctrl C, the copy option box opens up, I click OK. My Word document is already opened, I go to paste, I select paste special, I take formatted text RTF, I click OK. So here is the output. And just like I did in MS Excel, I won't be able to put this in a manuscript or in my thesis or in any assignment. I need to make it look more presentable. So let me copy this so that we can compare before and after. I'm going to format the first one I brought from eViews. For these very top rows, I don't need them, so I'm taking them out. I'm changing the entire font from Arial to Times New Roman. And I'm increasing the font size from 9 to 12. For the heading, that is just correlation, I'm going to put matrix in front. I will bold on it and increase the size to 15. Next thing, the probability written here, I'm taking it out and I'm writing variables. I notice that the variables are tilted to the left, so I'm going to put them all at the center. So I highlight all this and I select center here. So everything is at the center. I also observe there are too many empty cells, so I'm taking out the empty rows. You can see it's looking so much better. Then I'm going to remove all these blank cells too, all neatly removed. I also observe that the decimal places are up to six, which in my opinion is just too long. So I'm going to reduce them to three decimal places. So I only do for the real GDP. So you can see that for the real GDP, for the column of the real GDP, I've reduced all the decimal places to three. So the next thing for me to do, I can put a thick border below correlation matrix. I come here and I select bottom border. So here too, I can put a bottom border. Better now. And underneath here, I write a note. So the note is just to explain the variables I have in the matrix. And finally, I write source. So you can see that the table I formatted is a lot better than what I brought from Evius. See what I brought from Evius is below what I just did. There's a big disparity in the way they look. So don't just splash the outputs on your MS Word or MS Excel. Spend just a little time, it will take you a minute or two, to make your table really look more presentable. Thank you for watching. Stay with me. Don't go away. I'll be right back.